ok we are factorizing as our first topic and so the first thing to take in account when factorizing we must know that we can have two numbers and these two numbers is going to give us 12 when we multiply them together and when we add these two numbers they must give us a 7x um, so how we do is we write down the multiple of 12 with this back number here always so 1 and 12 2 and 6 3 and 4 so when we add 1 and 12 it won't give us 7 when we add 2 and 6 it won't give us 7 when we add 3 and 4 it will give us 7 so now we write this it as follows it's going to be x x it's a 3 and a 4 so it's going to be positive 3 and a positive 4 in there because the equation has just positive numbers now to check your answer you say x equals minus 3 x equals minus 4 and then when you substitute this negative 3 into x it must give you 0 when you substitute this minus 4 in this it must give you 0 again ok so number 2 exact same steps when we multiply two numbers it must give us positive 30 when we add these numbers it must give us positive 11x and now we, we carry on by getting the multiples of 30 that is 1 and 30 that is 2 and 16 and that is 5 and 6 and as you can see the only two numbers that will give us 11x is 5 and, 11, 5 and 6 and we add it together 5 and 6 will give us 11 and we write this as follows x x it's a 5 and a 6 the sign I write this last because you must always look at the equation given because when you multiply these two numbers it must give you positive 30 and when you add them it must give you positive 11 for now it's both positive because the equation just has positive numbers once again check it we say this negative 5 we substitute in the equation where x is it will give us 0 when we substitute this negative 6 in it will give us 0 as well when it gives us 0 it's saying that when this negative 5 is substituted in and it gives us 0 it's saying that this is a factor and this negative 6 is saying when it gives us a 0 it's saying that this is a factor of the given equation this is the same for um, cubic functions and when they say the remainder theorem it's the exact same way but we will get to that this last one um, it's going to be the same steps when we multiply two numbers together it must give us negative 28 when we add these two numbers it must give us a positive 3x and we start by doing the multiples of 28 1 and 28 that's 2 and 14 and it is 4 and 7 and as you can see already when we add 4 and 7 it will give us a positive 3 it will give us positive 3 but the signs will have to come into account now because you can see that this is a minus here at the back and this here is a positive 
to us in now. So, are you right there? You think? So, how to know which one gets the negative and which one gets the positive? We look at that one over here. We look at that. And it's saying to us, it must be positive 3x is when we add the number together. So, that tells us that the bigger one has to be positive because this is positive. That means this is going to be a positive, this one a minus. Now we check that is we multiply out x squared plus 7x minus 4x. 7 times 4 gives us minus 28. And then x squared plus 3x minus 28. This is the given equation. So we know we are correct with the sign. Now, to prove that we are correct with the factorizing, we do again that x is the 4 and x equals minus 7. But again, when you substitute this 4 in the given equation, what gives you 0? Proving that x minus 4 is a factor, when you substitute this negative 7 in, the given equation and it gives you zero is proving that x plus 7 is a factor of the given equation. So this next one is a bit trickier because the coefficient in front of x squared is 2 and it's not 1 anymore. And okay, how we do this is we say this number in front multiply with this number at the back is 12 and then we get the multiples of 12 is minus 12 2 and 6 3 and 4 then when we add these two numbers one of these two numbers we must get 7x again the sign will come into account because there's a difference of sign in the equation. And we can see that it's going to be these because 3 and 4 gives us 7. And how we write this is 2x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus So, how we do this now is we do grouping. I hope that everyone knows how grouping works. We must see what works together with this. And what works together with this is this 2x and this minus 4x. This 3x minus 3x and this 2 plus together because 3 can divide by 6 and 2 can divide by 4 nicely. This is grouping. So what we write this now is 2x squared minus 4x and then minus 3x plus 6. Let's do it without the brackets. We don't need the brackets. So what you want to do is you want to say 2x. Then you are you factorizing the 2x out of this one. And you left with x squared minus 2. Then you take out a... When you're taking out a, let's take out a minus 3, 3, and then we are left with x minus
minus two. So it should be like this. So it should be like this. Three to the six. Okay. That just need me two x squared minus four x minus three x plus six. When we factorize this, it's going to give us 2x, x minus 4. So take up a minus 3 here, so we got x minus 4. And then again, we can factorize this because we see that the two factors are the same. This is how you can tell you're on the right track. When you get this the same and that the same, then you know you're doing the right thing on the right track. So we factor six x minus two as a whole equation, then we are left with two x minus three. This now is the factors of the given equation. Of the given equation. Uh, we can check this is by multiplying out of all. So we multiply this x for that 2x, which is giving us 2x squared. This x and that minus 3 times 3x minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x minus 2 times minus 3 to get a positive 6. 2x squared minus 3. Minus 4x is minus 7x plus 6. Now, to check that our factorizer is correct, we write it like x equals 2 and x equals 3 over 2. So when you substitute this two in the given equation, it must give you zero. When you substitute this negative, this three over two, it must give you zero. That's how you know your factorizing is correct. Also, a note to make: when you get these the same, you know you're on the right track. Then you know you're on the right track of factorizing. The grouping, grouping will always work like that always you must first pick or swap them around to, to fit the best to factorize it the best and when you get these two the same then you know that you pick the right two together sometimes you might have to play with the signs but once you get them the same you know you're on the right track and you know that you're winning then you just factorize with the thing that's the same, then whatever is left over, you add to a bracket by itself. You add to a bracket by itself. Okay, next one. Okay, so for this one, we are given 3x squared minus 7x minus 6. Again, about a 1 here, that's my 3. When we have a number here, we take this number and then we multiply it with that number. It will give us a 2. So, multiples of 18 is 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Okay, so again, when we add two of these numbers, they must give us a 7x. I'm saying 7x because the sign we will have to figure out on our own. And as you can see, 9 and 2 will best give us that number. And as you can see, this is a minus sign. And when the number is minus, you know that the bigger one 
to take this vector minus and the small one must not be the one because the answer must remain for a uh, negative so you must subtract with a with a smaller positive number and now we write this is 3x2 plus 2x minus 9x minus 6 now we do the grouping once again and once again when you group you must subtract this this one and this one will go together just to x and that two will go together because they two is a multiple of six and three is a multiple of nine that's why this three x squared is with this minus nine x and this two x with that six minus six because two is a multiple of six and three is a multiple of nine okay now we write this is to make it nice and clear for you. So we write it as 3x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 6. Now we're factorizing this, we can say 3x x minus 3 plus 2x minus 3. So, what do we see? We see that this x minus 3 and this x minus 3 is the same. So, we know we are on the right track. So, from here, we write down the multiple, or the, what, the multiple factor that's the same. So, whatever is left, we left with just 3x and a positive 2. Once again, when we see that this is the same on both sides, we are on the right track, so we write it down because we're factorizing with the whole bracket now, x minus 3. Then whatever is left is what we're writing over there. To check the answer, we multiply out again, um, then it will give us this. And then the given equation. To check the answer, to check your answer, we write x equals 3, and then we write x equals minus 2 over 3. I got x minus 2 over 3 by saying 3x plus 2 equals 0, equals minus 2. So I got it. I took this one. I took this bracket. Everyone should know this by now, at least when you you think when you when they say to solve x and you factorize, this is how you give x values. There you go. So once again, when you put this three in, you get the zero. So you know you're right. When you put this in. And you get zero, you know you're correct. And that is the that is factorizing. That is factorizing like explained. I hope everyone understands this because factorizing is something you do constantly and you will have to be able to do this okay now we can move on to other work hopefully um, this helps anyone